Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to find the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I had a question from a uh, fan on the website, and uh, the fan said, You know, I'm trying to create this chart here, which has a main category and subcategories. It's multi level categories is uh, what Excel is doing with this and he said I am trying to do this but when I um, create the chart it doesn't work and I don't see the option so I want to talk to you just uh, briefly about what's going on here and how Excel treats this. Um, so all we did was we have this uh, fruit category we have bananas and oranges and pears and then for vegetables we have carrots potatoes and celery. Uh, now if you just go ahead let me just go ahead and delete that one. If you create this with these blanks over here in the main category, Excel will understand that you're trying to do is uh, create multi-level categories. So let's go ahead and create the chart again. Uh, there's the chart. Now if I right click on the horizontal axis and do format axis, you will see multi-level category labels is checked. You can uncheck it or check it. And uh, so what he did is he, um, he said, I don't understand why mine is not doing it right. And what I suggested is that he actually had a chart that had two numbers, so as their main category and subcategory. So, for instance, you see here we have a date of 2013. We have subcategories with, say, part numbers. And uh, if you highlight this chart and go up to your insert ribbon, create your column chart here, um, you will see uh, that Excel does not do the subcategories and if I right click on it and do format access on the horizontal axis there's no choice for this and now it's got um, mins, maxes, intervals between and uh, so what I suggested is uh, Excel does not understand and do these correctly um, with the with a number as the main category and a number as the subcategory uh, so, but you can do some different variations. So, for instance, this one where we have just say a number as our main category and subcategory of uh, text. If I go ahead and move that up, you'll notice that the uh, subcategory was done correctly. Uh, the number number one doesn't work correctly. Um, now let's switch it around and let's do uh, our main category as text and our subcategory of a number. And unfortunately, Excel doesn't understand this one either. It says, where did it go? Right click on the axis, and you'll notice that there is no choice in here for the main and subcategories. Um, so what's happening uh, is what I figured out, and there's not a lot of documentation on this. What you really, really need to do is you need to have this subcategory needs to be text. It doesn't matter if your main category is a number or not, but the subcategory, which is the one closest to your values, needs to be text. Uh, once you highlight this range, go to your insert ribbon. We're going to do a column chart. And lo and behold, Excel does understand it. If you right click on the horizontal axis and do format axis, you'll notice that multi-level category is now an option. Um, and it, it's either there or not uh, based on what it looks like is the subcategory value uh, needs to just be text. So that's the trick to doing the multi-level categories and, where, and finding where that option went in Excel. Uh, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, once again, this is Steve Equals True from Excel Dashboard Templates.com. Please consider uh, subscribing as a video subscriber on the video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.